Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of Windows command prompt commands. Command prompt commands, there you go. And uh, the first one we're going to look at is good old get Mac. And if you simply type get Mac and then slash question mark, you can see your syntax. Uh, the good thing about get Mac is that's what we use many times when we want to just figure out our Mac address without going through the IP config output. This is pretty straightforward what it is. Um, if you find that some of the descriptors here on the transport name don't really make too much sense, the best way to get that data back is slash capital V and what that will do for you is a verbose mode and then that gives you the descriptors for each interface so now we can see all the interfaces so for example this EF10 is now going to be known as our Wi-Fi adapter see so it's a neat little trick to use um, the other thing that we do a lot of is the actual formatting and that's the slash FO and then you're either gonna probably look at it either as a table view which will format it as your traditional uh, table format as you can see and then the other more popular one is if you're into writing batch files and stuff the CSV format takes all the data and separates it with a comma as you can see there so it's a simple little tip simple little trick and uh, might just help you figure out your MAC address just a few seconds quicker than you have in the past hope you enjoyed it have a good day Hello, it's Tony again, and the other command we're going to look at very briefly is a netstat command. So if I was to simply go to Internet Explorer and I just simply put, press the refresh button, I'll go back over here and the command I want to type is good old netstat, but I'm going to do a dash lowercase b. And what that does is, as you can see, it shows me obviously the, the typical connection information, but then here in square brackets, I've actually figured out or it has displayed the application that is using those connections. So this is uh, pretty helpful if you wanted to baseline an application or just see how many connections it was using. This is a really neat little command, netstat-b. Hope it helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.